Hello, my name is Braxton Finch. I am a detective. I was assigned the case of the murder of Peter Costigan. It was a rather peculiar murder. He was killed by someone, and there was no evidence other than the fact that he was found holding his own gun. It's very tragic when something as tragic as murder happens because, especially when we have no idea even how it happened in the first place. I've been working my tail off trying to find the solution. But every lead I've found has done nothing but turn up a dead end. God. It's such a confusing time for all of us. I mean, it's barely been 15 years since great war against Germany and prohibition just ended and America is on a downhill spiral. Sometimes I don't know what the hell we're going to do. But I'm working on it. I will find this case. I will figure it out. I will solve the murder of Peter Costigan. Or I will die trying. That I can promise. So I'm here at the crime scene. I'm trying to get a good idea of who the killer was. Anything helps, even the most minute details. But where do I look? I look for where the killer may have entered from. Could have been shot at a range. Maybe from that door over there. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. There seems to be no disturbances here, or there. Look around. I think I may have a good idea. If it wasn't for the police, always messing up the damn crime scenes. Peter Charles Costigan, 6'2", white male. Shot once in the left side of the head. 38 caliber revolver, which was found in his left hand. It's not uncommon for them to be shot in the head, but it's quite uncommon for it to be found in their hand, especially when it's registered into their name. But it wasn't reported stolen. It's quite peculiar. His wife was dismissed as a suspect because she was out of state for the week prior to the murder and the week after. Couldn't have been her. Costigan had no enemies. So who could have killed him? He was known to be an alcoholic. He had shell shock from the Great War. I served there too, so I know what he's talking about. But unlike me, he never recovered. There's only one possible cause of death. It's not a happy ending. But hopefully it will provide some solace knowing that no one killed him. But the truth is, I do know who killed Peter Costigan. And I also know the motive. Peter Costigan had been blackmailing several enforcers of the law, including myself, for years. He found out about our corrupt methods, our whole corrupt system. Someone had to do it. I figured, why not? Why shouldn't it be me?